Now we will see about how to retrieve this Jasper report as part of REST endpoint. Here we are going to use get method to retrieve this Jasper report. Here in this Spring Boot application, we have already imported the dependency Spring Boot starter web. So in your case, if you don't have this dependency, you need to have this dependency in your palm file. So now we will create a new package processor and inside that we will create nutrition report processor. And here we will take all these methods and we will put it inside that processor. So first I will create a new Java class and this is inside processor dot nutrition report processor now go to the nutrition report application here cut this here create a method named generate report public so here we will give byte array output stream as the return for this particular function so byte array output stream and then the function name is generate report here we will paste everything and go back to the nutrition report application take all the private methods paste it here you no need to keep this as static you can remove the static here and then this also you can remove the static now we have our base nutrition report processor and here in this nutrition report processor we have all our code here whichever we have already written in nutrition report application so here in this case we don't want to export this nutrition report to the local folder we want to send this as a byte array output stream to the get endpoint so i will remove this one and then i will remove the system out.println and here in this case i will throw more actions and then add exception to the method scenario here throws jr exception so far so good we need the file path go back to the nutrition report application here we have the file path take that go to nutrition report processor and here paste the file path now we need to create the byte array output stream from this print so to do that here we need to create a byte array output stream so byte array output stream equal to new byte array output stream and here we want to export this as a pdf so we are using jrp df exporter exporter equal to new jrpdf exporter and uh, here we need to provide the configuration so here create a configuration this is simple pdf exporter configuration and this is configuration new simple pdf exporter configuration and here configuration dot so here i want to compress this pdf so configuration dot set compressed equal to true next you need to set this configuration inside the exporter so exporter dot set configuration and here you can set the configuration here you need to export the print whichever we have in the line number 67 to do that exporter dot set exporter input so the exporter input is new simple exporter input and inside that you need to pass this print so here in this print we already filled the report with the parameters report and then the jr empty data source so here in this case i am just passing in the print next you need to set this output stream to the byte array output stream so exporter dot set exporter output so here in this case new simple output stream exporter we need to put the byte array output stream and then exporter dot export report next you need to return the byte array output stream so now with what we are doing here is we have created jr pdf exporter and then we have created a configuration here we can set different configuration you can play around with what are the different configurations you have in the simple pdf exporter configuration here i just want to set the compressed and then I am setting this configuration inside the exporter and I am also setting the exporter input as the Jasper print and then exporter output as the byte array output stream. Then I am returning the byte array output stream. Now we are done with our processor. Now we will create our controller. So create a Java class inside the package controller and then this is a nutrition controller. So this is rest controller and here we need to make sure this nutrition report processor is a component so at component 
and then private you need to have the nutrition report processor private final nutrition report processor and uh, if you are doing this you need to create a constructor i will use lombok to create a constructor for this so at record args constructor this will create the record our constructors i will create a get mapping so this is public and this is going to return response entity and the get nutrition report and for now this doesn't take any parameter byte array output stream report stream equal to nutrition report processor dot generate report and then here in this case we need to make sure you are uh, throwing this exception so add jr exception here and then next we need to add the http headers so http headers equal to new http headers so here in the http headers i need to set the media type as application pdf so http headers dot set content type media type dot application pdf next we need to return the response entity so return create a new instance of response entity and here report stream dot two byte array and then http headers comma http status dot okay and then we need to make sure we are uh, using the add get mapping annotation here so for now i will just give it this as report and we have converted this application to retrieve this jasper report from a rest endpoint now we will start this application now the application is started we can be able to see the complete report in this get endpoint so by this way you can convert your jasper report to be delivered from a rest endpoint thanks for watching